The Toyota RAV4 has been a compact SUV sales leader for, let's just say, eons. Even so, over the years, I've noted some shortcomings. Has the latest generation finally achieved perfection? No, it has not. But it is a great vehicle, free from many of the vices that plagued RAVs of the past. The exterior has a brawny yet inoffensive charm that should play well with the masses. Toyota has also given each of the various trims a distinct character, like a boy band. There's the cute one, the fun one, the socially responsible one, ooh, the bad boy. Let's peek inside. Yep, nothing too daring, but the broadly appealing interior is brimming with tactile interest. There's ridged trim around the sunglass holder, a stylized snow pattern in the storage trays that carries over to the seats. The interior door handles are satisfyingly ridged as well. And check out these rubberized climate knobs. I'm not sure how they'll wear over time, but for right now, they feel way better than plastic. That same rubber material appears on the audio knobs for the functional, if somewhat dated looking, Entune 3.0 infotainment system. Its standard 7 or optional 8 inch screen sits high near the driver's sight line and includes two USB ports, Amazon Alexa abilities, and Apple CarPlay but not Android Auto smartphone integration. Overall, I love how Toyota has created a unified interface with physical buttons and a clean, simple interface, free from needless complexity. If it's needless complexity you want, check out the drive mode controller. Among off-road SUVs, rotary drive mode controllers are the norm. Just turn the thing until the desired mode appears in the gauge cluster. In the RAV4, there's a button for each mode, six total. Until you learn which one does what, you have to look down here to make your selection. I'd like to point out that the road isn't down here, it's out there. Endure the selection process and you'll have the pleasure of customizing your RAV4 to the task at hand. And just to make sure power is getting where it should, a torque distribution display is included with all-wheel drive models. Yeah, that looks about right. Where passenger accommodations are concerned, the RAV4 is a superstar. In typical Toyota fashion, the front seats are exceptionally comfortable and free from pressure points. Me being me, I prefer more lower back support, but that's why Toyota offers adjustable lumbar. Just not on this XLE trim, though there is a blank to taunt me and my aching lower back. For adjustable lumbar, you'll have to upgrade to the XLE premium trim or higher. Regardless of trim, all RAV4s offer outstanding head, knee, and foot clearance for backseat passengers. Headroom is just as good in the middle position, and the center tunnel is flat, giving me a nice wide spot to rest my feet. In this kind of weird position, I've decided is great. Yes, hands on knees, wrists in tight. Comfort-obsessed passengers might crave more padding for the outboard rear armrest, but hey, at least they're soft. Those in back also enjoy two-position reclining seatbacks, rear vents, which older RAV4s did not offer, available dual USB ports, and rear quarter windows that create a spacious vibe while improving lane change visibility. All told, the interior has a functional appeal, enhanced with extendable sun visors, parallel cup holders, soft materials and critical touch points like the armrests, instrument panel, and dash, and upper door trim that, while plastic, at least matches the rest of the decor. One more thing, I like that there's a little guide here to keep the seatbelt from getting caught in the latch when you put the seats back up. Not every SUV has that. For storage, there are bottle holders in the doors, a decent center console, a phone nook with a nearby USB port, and a long Highlander-inspired dash slot that extends to the driver's side as well. If you want to haul some bulky gear, there's a large cargo area sporting a low, wide opening and an adjustable floor. In the upper position, bags can slide easily in and out. And if you lower it, your beloved can collection won't go rolling into the roadway. Not today, Canny. You're okay. Use that roadway for driving your RAV4, and you'll be treated to a well-tuned suspension that manages bumps with grace. A quieter interior would be nice. The ride quality is fab. Steer aggressively and body roll is apparent, but for the category, cornering feels confident and stable. For propulsion duties, there's a standard, adequately eager 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine 
teamed with an 8-speed automatic transmission controlled by this beefy shifter. At parking lot speeds, throttle reactions are touchy, but during casual cruising, gear changes are largely transparent. Well, not right there. I was driving slightly too aggressively. Shame on me. Press the throttle, and downshifts arrive quickly, placing the engine in its power-generating happy place. If it's speed you need, expect blunt shifts and high revs, along with some ornery engine sounds. For all-wheel drive buyers, Toyota offers a trio of systems, a standard setup, a separate system for hybrid models, and torque vectoring all-wheel drive for gasoline-powered limited and adventure trims that can send up to 50% of engine torque to the rear wheels, or disconnect the rear driveline for improved efficiency. And here come the fuel economy numbers. Naturally, front-wheel drive is more efficient, but for maximum fuel savings, consider the previously mentioned RAV4 hybrid. If superior efficiency bores you, take note. The XSE Hybrid also comes with a sport-tuned suspension for more lively handling. Like Brian Cranston, the Hybrid will not be typecast. Standard on all models is Safety Sense 2.0, which bundles road sign detection, full-speed dynamic cruise control that operates between 0 and 110 miles per hour, lane departure alert with steering assist, and pre-collision warning with pedestrian and daytime cyclist detection. Each system works as you'd expect, improving safety for good drivers, bad drivers, and bad drivers who think they're good drivers. In addition to Safety Sense 2.0, a basic Toyota RAV4 LE trim includes LED head and tail lights, eight airbags, and power windows with automatic up-down functionality for right about $26,500. Fancier tastes can be appeased with options like a 360-degree camera system, a foot-activated power tailgate, heated and ventilated front seats, five USB ports, and intelligent vehicle access with push-button start. Adding all-wheel drive to any gasoline model ups the price tag by $1,400, but we should point out that for only $800 on top of that, you can buy a RAV4 Hybrid, which includes standard all-wheel drive via an electric motor spinning the rear wheels, along with more power and fantastic fuel economy. Seriously, buying the Hybrid might be the smart play. As for the competition, it's the usual suspects, like the predictable Honda CRV, sassy Ford Escape, practical Chevy Equinox, fun Mazda CX-5, and efficient Nissan Rogue. There really is a compact SUV for every taste, but Toyota has smartly toned and honed the fifth generation RAV4 for the only audience that matters, people who buy cars.